With the possible future of all cars heading towards being electric, there is one car maker that currently stands out as trying something different, and maybe even better. This is Lightyear One, the world's first long range solar powered car. The roof and hood of Lightyear One comprise of 5 square meters of integrated solar cells within safety glass. So strong that a fully grown adult can walk on them without causing dents. As a result, Lightyear One can generate up to 20,000 kilometers or 12,500 miles worth of energy per year, just while sitting in the sun. Lightyear One has been engineered from scratch to get the most out of every ray of sunshine. The main goal of the car is to fill in where electric cars fall short. Research has shown the range and lack of charging options are still the top concerns that people have when considering buying an electric car. But what makes Lightyear One better than a standard electric car is it has an exceptional long range on a relatively small battery of 725 kilometers. Plus it can charge directly from the sun. And even if you run out of power while you're driving, you can still drive for around 20 kilometers over an hour as the car recharges directly from sunlight, allowing you to get to a power outlet somewhere down the road. Plus I think the best part of this car is you can charge up to 400 kilometers or 250 miles per night from any standard power socket that you might find in a house or a hotel. And through fast charging, you can even charge up to 570 kilometers or 350 miles worth of energy in just one hour. That makes the Lightyear One great for road trips because you don't need special charging infrastructure wherever you are going. And you can even travel long distances in a day with just an extra hour or two added to the journey for fast charging. Now one of the best features of the car, which I think will make it a hit under the harsh Australian sun, is that Lightyear One will be equipped with heating, ventilation and an air conditioning system. And due to the excessive power available when parking in the sun, the air conditioner will power on automatically to cool the interior. And this system can be controlled via a smartphone app, so you can turn the air conditioner on just before leaving work. The Lightyear company will be ramping up production of the Lightyear One in 2021, but I wouldn't be breaking open that piggy bank to buy one just yet, as buying this solar power car won't be cheap, as the price of the initial 100 Lightyear One cars being made will be selling for 153,000 US dollars. Now, of course, the price will come down in time as the company develops the technology further and ramps up for mass production. But if you were considering buying an electric car, why not consider a solar powered car that can recharge from the sun or a standard house power socket and can travel much further than an electric car and can fast charge in just one hour. Now granted, someone who is willing to spend $153,000 on a car probably doesn't care for the couple of dollars they save charging from the sun. But if sustainable energy is a passion in your life and being able to travel long distances is, then a solar power car is your best option. And there isn't a better one than the Lightyear one. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.